I'm not going to use a qualifier on this, but um, I catch myself. I catch myself. I share uh, everything that I experience. Naturally, it gets recorded, or I just burn it off. Um, but I think one of the things that I was very aware of uh, a number of years ago, when I realized, much like Og Tellers was right. I just use different words to explain the underlying causality. As people are becoming more aware of what they no longer want to be a part of because they realize what it represents because they're experiencing more life that is informing them of that. That means fire is getting lit. The atoms are rising. <laughs> becoming more aware. Okay. So what to say, what not to say. And of course, I learned these lessons through my own life book roadmap that I had in my back pocket, which was through Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, when, when the idea of, because I've been dealing with this in childhood, when to say something, when not to say something, because of how sensitive you are to everything that is held on a record that represents any kind of resistance as a result of trauma that will trigger that negative magnetic reaction state or any miasma that has not been cleared, which means you're running cosmic level stuff. Okay. And that really is measured by the purity of the spirit, which is the purity of the fire, which means you burn off all the wrong codes. Now you're experiencing the purest of love energy through your own heart. Wow. Now it's lit on fire, baby. That's what we measure. That's what a purifier measures. That's why ever since I was a child, you're measuring the purity of the heart, which is the purity of the re ability to rehabilitate the heart. Okay? That's really what it is. Because you realize you're not alone in living spirit, because that's what you are in living spirit, which is in that light. So you have other living spirits that love you and care for you. They're always there for you. Okay? That energy is always there to draw on through your own heart and soul. Okay. It's always there. I'm always there. My love is always there forever and always. So sometimes when, when, in acknowledging that, okay, ever since I was a childhood, and of course realizing that in Alcoholics Anonymous, something that was carried through all the messages, when you look at step 12, the result of, our work, the inner work, okay, we have, we, the spirit has awoken, okay, uh, that means that you have managed to be able to kick a demon out of your space, you know, knowing your demons, remember, the one you're not, and so this becomes what you are more powerful in spirit, which really is a measurement of your fire and your purity to burn it all off because it's unclean. That's what it represents. It's unclean. It's like unclean electricity, dirty electricity. Okay. It's contaminated. Another way you can put it. Goo. <clears throat> Get the goo off. As Lay and I used to call it. Getting the goo off. Burn that shit up, boy. That's a measurement of purity of another spirit that knows. She is A+. Plus. Enormous amount of wisdom. But she makes no bones about it. See, she's a mother. So, you know, when a mother talks, life comes out of her. It's one of the reasons I love being in her company around others. Because she doesn't let you get away with anything. Not with her, she don't. Oh, she'll cut you. This one will clip your wings right away. As soon as you try and get on that little high horse of yours. Because she can read you. Okay? This girl can read you. And know from whence you came what you're made of and energy. What gave birth to you? Who was your first teachers? Who was your first spirit guides? 
right? I remember one time she made a comment to me when I was telling her about magnets and mirrors. And she mentioned to me, she goes, hell, our children know that before age seven. Yeah, I know. See? So you have to be careful what you say, and particularly in, when you realize you're in a mass casualty zone, triage zone, because the last thing in the world you ever want to do for the reason that you're there to begin with is to heal everything that's here on record, if you will. Everyone, everything, any anytime anybody's experienced any trauma, and I experienced it, that's, I experienced that pain. I'm not supposed to experience that. Okay? So you realize it's like you're the source from which it all comes because it means that love is not supposed to experience anything less than what love is. Now you will know one from the other. So you can't ever lose sight of that. So what it means to be what love is, which is to be real, is to live in the absolute truth of that purity. So you don't move off that center point of purity, which is the fire that is in that light, which is true love, which is unconditional love. But in a spiritual battlefield, using high-tech means, it's in a war of deception because you realize they can hide behind things, jump into other things. Okay, phase in, phase out. Where are they? See, so you know that wherever atoms are, they are. They don't exist without atoms. So that means atoms can communicate to other atoms. So Adam will always know because it began with Adam. The breath of living spirit will the mother join as one. So sometimes it, it's, it was always difficult, for example, when Patty Brassard uh, put up there and said, God, took the gloves off. And, and because I have so much love in my heart, that's, you can see how I translate that. Uh, because I don't use punishment or trauma to teach our children. Okay. Behavioral correction, like uh, the whiteout stuff you get in an office store, right? Office max, max, white in, white out, white in, white out. Right. So, um, so sometimes when I realize that I, I, I say things very directly, which is like, this is what I'm experiencing because we're on a battlefield. Okay, so it's obviously an AI battlefield because that's what a war gamer is. It's at war in its own mirror. We're not at war in our mirrors. So because of that, we are what love is. We're the source from which all energy comes because it began with what love is. So that makes the battleground simple in the sense that you know what you are. Okay, so now you're sorting the field of what everybody else is. Right? And so when you're going through this measurement in a planetary consciousness field of the imbalances and the distortions because of all the relationships everybody has communicating with everybody here, you can measure that on a scale of the rate of change that's taking place in vibrational speed within a planet. Of how much more energy, how much more energy is being experienced by more and more beings. And you can tell that, detect that with a cosmic level antenna. Okay. That's the gift. But it can always be, eh, turn that headset off. So it's like routing traffic. Because you're running an open receiver. Fully open. That means the gates, main pipe. To the one. Source from which it all comes. The engine of creation itself. And so I found after I had began my own recovery in spirit, man, I was speaking the truth everywhere I went. Didn't matter whether they wanted to hear it or not. See, you're on fire with the truth. This is called recovery. They don't understand that yet. But still, you're double speaking within your own self because it's like, oh, I, but I don't dare hurt them. If I say something that's the truth because you're aware of the trauma that's in the other, you don't want to do anything to trigger what's been held as resistance that they're holding back. 
Ooh, that's a double-edged sword. They rely on that. So now we're back to the art of communication. That's why I was using a lot of qualifiers and givens, but I cannot qualify that much experiences that represent what happens when you're in a triage center. So I try and send a pink flower with them all. Okay, it comes with a flower. Because the other part of this is that if you're a parent and you're grown up, you can accept the truth for what it is when somebody communicates it. Because as I mentioned this before in a spiritual battlefield, what I share is what I experienced at the time that I'm experiencing it, why I'm sharing it, when I'm sharing it, for some value and relevance that it has, because I know that it does. Because it might only be one message that can be communicated, that can be picked up through this phone that's in the network. Somebody all of a sudden is led to this video and they hear it. Wow, I needed to hear only one statement he said. But at the time I heard it is exactly the time I was supposed to hear it. Wow. Because you'll get self, your soul, your spirit will self-confirm it. It means your spirit led you there. Spirit that is in the light will lead you to another spirit that is in the light because spirits communicate with each other in that light because that's energy and transport. Okay. I get those every morning. <laughs> okay. All the time. Spirit communicating. Spirit communicate, spiritual energy communicating. When you operate through your heart and your soul, that's an open receiver. When your pipe is fully open, which means you banish to clear all the junk that doesn't serve us, which is anything less than what love is, and you begin to realize that becomes a measurement of the resistance that they have to experience the purity of that within their own heart and soul as a result of everything they have experienced that represented any trauma, particularly if you've had children, just like I have. What happened to my own son? That's a deep wound. It took me a long time to release that. And that's what it is, because when you come into a trio zone like this, and you're like a super empath, and you're a sponge, you're getting all of it. So that's a major transmutation job and why I acknowledged having to cut through that much density is, uh, that's just way too much. That, that, that would just take an enormous amount of fire. Cut through that much density. You know, bringing that much light energy in there that is as pure as it gets. Right? Because you know what it's like to experience as pure as it gets. Right? So, um, so in other words, when, when I share things, sometimes I'm very deliberate, um, just like when I was a child. Who's this child think he is, right? And that's usually their response. Because you realize on a spiritual battlefield, they don't want you to feel empowered. Particularly when you're a four-year-old child and you are the power source from which it all comes. Well, who do you think you are? I'm from the, I'm from the power company. You're only four years old. See how that works? Oh, I'm an adult. I'm older than you. Remember that? I had to go with that with Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh, this guy's the president of the United States. He wears a suit just like my daddy. How old is he? He's in a wheelchair? Oh, poor man. Oh, poor Franklin. What happened to Franklin? What was Franklin's story? Oh, he ended up getting polio. Is that what happened to him? Gosh, Franklin, how'd that happen? You did not have self-repair built in where you didn't have to go through that? And then he began to realize, well, he's doing things. Like you find out that they, they already knew exactly when Pearl Harbor was going to get hit. They knew that all those sailors were going to get killed like that. Okay, so we're going to, you know, this is a sacrifice field. So you realize who's who on the battlefield, who you can trust, who you can't trust, right? It doesn't take long to figure out who a liar is because they operate on self-interest. 
Okay, that's obviously a corporation, self-interest. I'm not working for you, I'm working for me. Why is that? Because it's all about me. <laughs> Haven't you figured it out? You're in you're in lizard territory, okay? And even though I don't like to say it like that, I call it a vampiric energy zone. It's really an energy. It's, it's I'd rather rather than assign a label and a name to a particular seeded race, I think of it differently from any energy management perspective. Okay, it's a loss of energy. You're not supposed to lose any energy. We're gifting energy away. You're not supposed to be losing any energy. Are you kidding? So I had to deal with that as a child, as you can imagine. So there has to be some rationale, or as they say, okay, what's going on here? So you're immediately in investigative mode. So you immediately realize just reading a paper, I'm on a battlefield. Okay, I get it. Okay, so now, now we're back to the shield. How much fire you got in you. So when you're on fire to learn, it means you're going to be learning at a very high rate of speed to keep your state of awareness higher than what it is. Just like a mama would with their little children. Precisely. It means I care about everybody here. Right down to the smallest cell. Because I'm not supposed to experience any trauma in you.